Hello, Curious Minds, and welcome to another episode of Chronicles of the Curious, where we explore the most fascinating and mysterious topics in science and beyond. Today, we're going to talk about quantum mechanics, one of the most mind-blowing and counterintuitive theories ever developed. Specifically, we're going to focus on one of its most puzzling and profound features, quantum non-locality. But before we move on, just smash the like button and subscribe for more upcoming content. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales, such as atoms and subatomic particles. You might think that these tiny things would obey the same laws and logic as the things we see in our everyday world, but you would be wrong. Quantum theory shows that the quantum world is very different from the classical world and that it has some strange and surprising properties that defy our common sense and our classical understanding of reality. One of these properties is quantum non-locality. This means that quantum phenomena cannot be explained by assuming that physical objects have definite properties and interact only with their immediate surroundings. Instead, quantum theory shows that objects can be entangled, meaning that their states are correlated even when they are far apart, and that measurements performed on one object can instantly affect another object, regardless of the distance between them. This phenomenon is called quantum non-locality or quantum entanglement. To understand how quantum non-locality works, let's look at a famous thought experiment proposed by Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen in 1935, known as the EPR paradox. They imagined a scenario where two particles, such as electrons or photons, are created in a way that they are entangled. This means that their properties, such as spin or polarization, are not defined until they are measured. For example, if we measure the spin of one electron along any direction, we will get either up or down as a result. But until we do that, the electron has no definite spin. It is in a superposition of both possibilities. Now, suppose we send these two entangled electrons in opposite directions, so that they are very far apart from each other. According to quantum theory, if we measure the spin of one electron along any direction, we will instantly know the spin of the other electron along the same direction, even though we have not measured it yet. This is because the measurement of one electron collapses the superposition of both electrons and determines their spins to be opposite to each other. This means that if we measure one electron to be spin up along any direction, we can be sure that the other electron is spin down along the same direction, and vice versa. This sounds very weird and spooky, right? How can the measurement of one electron affect another electron that is far away from it? How can they communicate faster than light? How can they have no definite properties until they are observed? These questions bothered Einstein and his colleagues a lot. They argued that quantum theory was incomplete, because it implied that physical reality was non-local, objects are influenced by distant events, and non-realistic, objects have no definite properties independent of observation. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. Einstein and his colleagues suggested that there must be some hidden variables or factors that determine the properties of the entangled particles before they are measured, and that these hidden variables are local, they do not depend on distant events, and realistic, they exist independent of observation. They thought that quantum theory was only a statistical approximation of a deeper and more complete theory that would reveal these hidden variables and restore local realism. However, Quantum theory predicts that quantum non-locality can be observed experimentally by testing certain statistical inequalities called Bell inequalities. These inequalities are derived from the assumptions of local realism, and they set limits on how much correlation can exist between two entangled systems. If these inequalities are violated, then local realism must be false, and quantum non-locality must be true. In 1964, John Stuart Bell proposed a way to test these inequalities using entangled photons. He showed that if we measure the polarization of two entangled photons along different directions, we will find a certain pattern of correlation between them that cannot be explained by any local realistic theory. 
He also showed how to calculate this pattern using quantum theory. Since then, many experiments have been performed to test Bell inequalities using different types of entangled systems, such as photons, electrons, atoms, molecules, etc. The results of these experiments have consistently shown that Bell inequalities are violated, confirming the predictions of quantum theory and ruling out local realism. Some of the most influential experiments on quantum non-locality were conducted by John Clauser, Alain Aspect and Anton Zielinger, who shared the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work. They used sophisticated techniques to generate and manipulate entangled photons and to measure their properties with high precision and accuracy. They also addressed various loopholes and challenges that could affect the validity of the tests, such as detection efficiency, communication delay, hidden variables, etc. Their experiments established the violation of Bell inequalities beyond any reasonable doubt and pioneered the field of quantum information science. Quantum non-locality is one of the most profound and puzzling features of nature. It challenges our common sense and our classical understanding of reality. It also opens up new possibilities for applications such as quantum cryptography, quantum computation, quantum metrology, quantum communication, etc. Quantum non-locality is not a flaw or a paradox in quantum theory. It is a fundamental aspect of reality that we have to accept and explore. I hope this video helped you understand what quantum non-locality is and why it is important. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more curious content. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your questions and thoughts on this topic. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and stay curious.